Hey guys, welcome back to our weekly meal. I hope this video find everybody, everyone doing well. And uh, my grandkids have started the virtual schooling and it's coming along pretty good. And I hope that you, I hope that the ones of you have children or grandchildren that started theirs or either started back to school. I hope they're doing well. So we need to continue to pray for them, pray for them. So, uh, guys, let me tell you what we got for the weekly meal today. And then I'll come back and tell you whether or not I already have a video up on it. Um, we having some, I got some uh, fried collars with uh, smoked turkey, uh, cooked in smoked turkey. And I have uh, some... Um, fried chicken and some uh, hot water cornbread and guys I know y'all don't see that cake we still working on the leftover cake so we that's some of the apple dabbler apple dabbler cake and then I uh, you know I told you about this in southern thing where we eat these uh relishes and stuff I mean these little uh, vegetables as a side with our uh with our vegetables and uh, I have some uh, sweet Vidalia onions and some of that uh, banana pepper. That's some good pepper. I don't know what kind it is that took thought, but it's very uh, spicy and flavorful. Very flavorful. And um, then we got some sliced tomatoes with some salt and pepper on it. And then for the drink, we're having the uh, sweet iced tea. Okay. Uh, did I finish? Did I tell them all what I was saying? My mind is so short sometimes. Macaroni and cheese. Oh, did I? Well, I didn't say macaroni and cheese. We're having macaroni and cheese. Okay, let me tell you what I already have. Uh, this macaroni and cheese, you guys, is leftover. When I have uh, leftover mac cheese, I take it, cut it in squares, and wrap it individually in some uh, plastic wrap. And then I usually put the... Uh, the little serving size inside of a of a freezer bag, according to how much I have left over. Normally, whenever whenever I cook mac cheese, I always fix like a either the nine inch um, baking dish or either the uh, the thirteen if I intentionally want to have some uh, leftovers. But normally, I always have leftover macaroni and cheese, and uh, I like it that way, so I can always have it as 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 a side with another meal and don't have to worry about cooking a side when I'm cooking something that takes a little time. Uh, okay. So I have up a mac I have up a, a video on it already. Creamy mac and cheese. And then with the um, collards, the fried collards with the uh, smoked turkey in it. I have a video up on fried collards but I have the ham hocks in it. That was one of the first videos that I put up, and uh, but I had uh, ham hocks in, and that's what I really like in it. But um, I just got some smoked turkey in it this time, and then I got a video up already on uh, May May's crispy fried chicken. Tastes just tastes better than the uh, chicken you can get at fast food, you guys. Now that's a good chicken. You know how I told you guys that I do my chicken in a brine, and then I. Put it in my uh, seasoned flour. I season up my own flour and all, and it just be crisp and good. And uh, don't even have, cause once you brine it, most of the time you're not gonna have to add salt to it, cause I the brine that I make it it salt it uh, put salt all the way through your chicken, the meat part of it, flavor. And then guys, I have a recipe up on the uh, hot water cornbread, and that's it. The uh, collards, mac cheese. Hot water cornbread and the uh, fried chicken. Did I miss anything, too? And okay, uh, with the uh, with the cake, I seen you guys comment comments and stuff, and I will be trying to put up a recipe for that apple dappler cake when I get ready to fix it. Probably for the you know, probably before Thanksgiving, I try to have it up. Then, if um, some of you plan to want to. Uh, have it for your Thanksgiving meal, but um, 
that's about all I can tell you guys about this meal today. And uh, uh, one thing I want to say with the collards and stuff, it's going over into the fall of the year. And remember what I told you guys. I said this in the video when I was putting it up. Is that uh, collards are usually real tender once the frost falls on it. And it don't take much to cook them. So you have to be careful not to cook them too long like you would normally do a pot of collards. Don't your collars might turn to mush. So uh, I always try to stress that to, well down in this, down in this area, uh, I don't know a lot of, because uh, a lot of these collars that we have, it's organic collars and stuff. Now some places that have collars year round, the collars might not, now this is what Tuck said, I don't know, he said it's grown in a hot house. But you know, I told you when I was younger growing up, um, we didn't really eat collards like, you know, collards, people didn't eat collards too much in the summertime. Summertime was mainly peas. I had some ladies to send in a cup, oh, we eat collards. I wanted to say, go fly a kite as quick and high as you can uh, up around some uh, electric, po uh, electric wire. I know that's so ugly to say, uh, guys, but I know, you know. God knows what's in my mind, but he know I don't mean I want nobody to get hurt, but sometimes people just need to zip it. <laughs> you know, because I know, I'm like, why would I be trying to tell you uh, something that's not true about my childhood? And who is you to tell me about my childhood? Child, go somewhere. As them, as them elderly, elderly, elderly used to say, when I was a kid growing up, go somewhere and sit down. <laughs> Okay, guys, that's all I want to say to y'all. I, you know, just drop me a comment uh, as to whether or not you guys uh, can uh, have luck with y'all uh, leftover home, uh, macaroni and cheese, putting it in the freezer. And uh, I, I really enjoy mine it's putting it in the freezer, and it always turns out real nice when I fix it this way, the creamy way. So, guys, uh, I want you to. Uh, Stay safe, continue to pray, and uh, that, and that's all I can say. Just be safe, continue to pray, stay positive, and remember, may may love you guys, and bye.